So Future Earth is, is an international initiative to, to mobilize science in support of a global transition to sustainability. It's an effort of, of taking the advance, advancements in Earth system science, so basically all the research we know today of how the entire Earth system operates and the impacts on the Earth system from human, human pressures, and take the step now to combine it to research on how can societies respond to support a transition to global sustainability and how are people impacted by the global changes that are occurring in the planet. So it's a way of integrated social natural sciences and to be more solutions oriented in the research of global environmental change. It's a major new experiment because it's a co-design between science and also funders of research and also service providers of research. So it's an exciting effort of really posing the most critical questions that society now need an answer to. So it's a, it's a way of science stepping up to the responsibility of a transition to sustainability. And finally, it's an effort of, of integrating and strengthening the current global environmental change programs under the International Council for Science and its partners. So it's actually an effort of taking the, the success from 30 years of global change research from the World Climate Research Program, the International Geobiosphere Program, the International Human Dimensions Program and Diversitas and, and the Earth System Science Partnership, which is the umbrella of these four major big programs, and, and strengthening and integrating their research so that there's a possibility of getting even more societally relevant answers to big questions coming out of the endeavor. Well, there are several things that are new with, with the, the Future Earth uh, research agenda. The first is, of course, the, the fundamental challenge of integrating social natural sciences, the, the recognition that natural sciences alone cannot solve the big sustainability challenges we're facing, and that social sciences alone cannot address the environmental challenges we're facing. So, so the novelty is really in the integration, and through the integration also to address even more societally relevant questions. Again, moving closer towards solutions. So that's one key issue. The other key uh, innovation is co-production of knowledge. That this, this will not be an initiative where you have oceanographers and climate scientists and, and political scientists sitting by themselves. It will be integrated teams also working with stakeholders in society. But another important um, innovation in Future Earth is to take the science all the way through to awareness development, capacity development, and also impacts in society. So to invest much, much further in, in the entire bridging from science to policy and practice, and to engage much more in capacity development, particularly in developing countries. Well, Future Earth is, is right now in a transition phase. So we have essentially this year, 2012, to deliver a plan for Future Earth, a 10-year plan, which will include everything from a research framework, not a research agenda, but a framework for research, an organizational proposal of how to organize an initiative like this, which will most likely be based on a distributed global network of centers of excellence and responsibility distributed among partners in the world, a financial plan of how to finance this major initiative, and also a plan for capacity development and communications and the different components of policy interface. This will be uh, finalized by the end of this calendar year, so Future Earth will be officially up and running from 1st of January 2013. It was announced at the Planet Under Pressure conference in London end of March and will be formally launched at the UN Earth Summit in Rio in June 2012. So 2012 is, is kind of the, the process of, of preparing for, for the launch of Future Earth uh, starting next year. But then we should recognize that Future Earth is based on, on 30 years of major advancements in Earth system science. So of course Future Earth will build on the current strengths and, and respectfully also strengthen and integrate what, what we have already today. So there will be a gradual start from 2013 so that we can really build on, on all the, the great research that is already going on.